Oh, it, it, really, Vanguard is, and I think remains, the only organisation that actually puts systems thinking into practice in a robust way. Uh, everybody else I'd, I'd come across were, were effectively doing kind of tools and techniques. So, so you would go to, to a consultancy firm, um, and, and what you get is we go out and do the project, we do stuff to our clients, uh, we give them the answer. What Vanguard did uh, in a, and do in a very uncompromising way is to say, we, we won't work with people to tell them what the answer is, we work with clients to change the management thinking. And that, that is profoundly different from, from what other organisations do. And even other organisations that profess to do lean really don't, uh, in my view, do that because they're not setting out to change the thinking. They're setting out to teach people the, the tools and techniques that follow from changing the thinking. So I think that's an important message to people is that if you want to work with Vanguard, what we're about is changing the system, the work design, the job roles and the measures. We're not simply about doing some process re-engineering. So if you want massive change, come to Vanguard. If you want to just change a few processes and you want short term uh, that won't last, then go somewhere else. Well, I'd, I'd worked with, I'd been working with Avis Rent-A-Car at the time and uh, I mean they're quite an interesting story because they had a phenomenal service culture back in the 70s with uh, Townsend and Colin Marshall and um, the uh, oil crisis in the 80s sort of brought the bean counters in and everything got standardised and proceduralised and the thing that went out the window was service so uh, we were trying to put service back in to the system and struggling hard and doing all the stuff that was in the books and all the management gimmicks and it really wasn't making much difference and then John came along and helped me understand what did make a difference and of course all the pennies dropped and everything suddenly fitted together and I thought this makes sense now. On see a purpose um, the leaders are then in a position to make an informed choice that says do we become a systems thinking organization? Because what you've got is this contrast between systems thinking and command control. What they should have learned by that stage is that uh, these two things are oil and water. They cannot coexist. So at that point they can make a decision that says either we become a systems thinking organization or we don't. It's a way of thinking and, and I think the the most common experience you have with people is that when they start working with you and they get it, the one thing they get is, and you hear them say this, is I, I can't do this any other way now. I just can't go back to thinking about the way I used to think about work. They're just totally incompatible. It's real oil and water stuff. You, you either think this way or you don't. There's lots of implications and ramifications for thinking this way and there's probably lots of development of it still to take place. But it is a very distinct shift in thinking. You can't mix and match. So what, what we firmly believe is that this method is a method that should be used by any form of service organisation and can be applied anywhere, not only in the UK, anywhere. So, you know, if you're, if you're into service and you want to make it better, you want to increase, the, improve the service and, and increase your efficiency and improve the morale of your staff, because everybody wants to come to work to do a good job. If you want to do that, the Vanguard method is the way to do it.